اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آئی ایم فرام بائز ہائر سیکنڈری سکول سوگام سبجیکٹ ایڈوکیشن کلاس الیونتھ مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ایز یو نو دیٹ وی آر ٹوڈے ریڈنگ دا یونٹ نمبر ٹین دیٹ از انوائرمنٹل ایجوکیشن اینڈ اور ٹوڈیز ٹاپک از ایم از اینڈ آبجیکٹوز آف انوائرمنٹل ایجوکیشن ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس دا انوائرمنٹل ایجوکیشن ایم از ایٹ ڈیولپنگ ان دا چائلڈ ایویئرنیس اینڈ انڈرسٹینڈنگ آف دا فزیکل اینڈ سوشل انوائرمنٹ ان اٹس ٹوٹیلٹی انوائرمنٹل ایجوکیشن انوالو چائلڈ از انویسٹیگیشن اینڈ سسٹمیٹک ایکسپلوریشن of his own natural and social environment and to prepare himself to solve the problems for improving his life. Environmental education should be a continuous lifelong process beginning at the preschool stage level and continuing through all formal and non-formal stages and should be interdisciplinary in making possible a holistic and balanced perspective. The objectives of teaching environmental education varies at different levels. The objectives which are very specific in nature are called specific objectives. Whereas the other objectives which are same at all levels are called general objectives. The general objectives of environmental education or as under number one awareness one of the prime objective of environmental education is environmental awareness awareness about the various environmental problems their causes effects and control is an important aspect of environmental education so that these problems can be controlled or prevented. Number second, attitude. Environmental education help individuals and social groups to acquire social values and strong feelings and to motivate them for actively participating in its protection and improvement. It is very important to infuse attitude in the learners about environmental related issues so that they know how the environmental issue affects them and they take keen interest in maintaining a healthy environment. Number third, knowledge. To help individual and social groups acquire basic understanding of the total environment it is associated problems and humanity's critically responsible presence and role in it. Number th- four, sickles. Environmental education aims at providing sickles to the learner to prevent and control environmental problems and also to identify the causes and effects of the persisting problems. Number five, that is participation. Environmental education makes the students to participate in various environmental campaigns so that they actively participate for the protection and conservation of environment. The main purpose of participation is to awaken their senses and make them responsible to ensure quality of environment. Number six. Evaluation ability To help individuals and social groups to evaluate environmental measures and educational programs in terms of ecological, political, economic, social and educational factors. It also gives the learners an ability to evaluate the various options such as energy source and use the one which is best in terms of environmental safety. Thank you very much.